basic education and graduation. My name is Eric Lynn, and I'm the program manager for the District 196 Health Basic Education. Thank you for coming tonight. I'd first like to thank our wonderful AP staff that may be part, may, may be proud to be a part of this program. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to help our students reach their goals. Thank you as well for your work to help make tonight's graduation ceremony possible. I'd like to send out a special thank you to AP Elite Diploma teacher Lori Nelson, who is so committed to helping our students earn their diploma and has worked closely with so many of you. Unfortunately, Lori is able to attend tonight because she isn't feeling well, and she sends her congratulations out to all of you as she watches from the live stream at home. Next, congratulations to the families of AB graduates. Please know the important role you play with your support for your students, for your graduate success, as they have balanced their family, work, and school lives. And now our biggest congratulations to our graduates who have worked so hard to earn their diplomas. We are excited to be here in person to celebrate your accomplishments. This is the time to feel especially proud to look back and see all that you've achieved through the unique challenges of this past year and to look forward to new adventures ahead. It just feels so great to see all of you here tonight, see all of us together, and be able to celebrate. I'd like to recognize the distinguished guests who are here this evening. If you could uh, please stand when I call your name. First school board member, Craig Anderson. School board member, Corey Johnson. School board member, Jackie Nicholson. And superintendent, Mary Green. Before I introduce our guest speaker, I'd like to give just a brief overview of our AB program. This year we served over 1,200 adult learners in a variety of areas, high school and TV completion, English language learning, academic skill building, college and career preparation, and family school. 79 of our students are in their high school or TV diploma this year. In our program, we strive to build connections with all of our learners and help them build the skills they need to achieve their goals. We look forward to resuming the full in-person classes again this summer and while we'll continue to offer an online learning option going forward. I'm excited to introduce our guest speaker tonight, Darcy Chuck. Darcy has completed her 20th year with our AB program. She spent many years as an English language teacher with our adult learners and has taught GED and academic skills for the past four years. In addition to her teaching skills, Darcy helps her students build the confidence to achieve their goals by creating connections and bringing positivity to the classroom. In her spare time, she enjoys hanging out with her husband and two daughters. She can often be found on a yoga mat, area hiking trails, or sipping her favorite morning, morning coffee. Please welcome Darcy Josh. Went through them. No. You did it. 
you did scary, yeah. uncomfortable, but mind-stretching yeah. assignments, this has resulted in your diploma. You found your goal, and you just did it. You know how people will often say, and educate, you know, get your yeah. education because no one can take it away. We've all heard that adage, right? Really, it's the same for all of those school educational experiences as well. Those experiences of having success, having failures, having hits and misses, stops and starts, those are part of your learning, and those experiences are what allow you to own your achievement today. You learned how to show up and complete your goal, and if you made a mistake along the way, those two have taught you to focus on changing and getting things right. I hope you have allowed your failures and mistakes to guide you into the place of growth. I've used, I used to hate these mistakes. Oh, I mean, I don't know. But I've come to appreciate them as they are a part of learning. I make so many mistakes in my daily routine. I've gotten lost in more than one wooded trail. I put on the sequence and I go to class and the only person doing you know, the wrong move. I've even forgotten a few of my finishing touches on some of my lesson plans. But what I do is when I've made a mistake, it gives me a chance to reflect and to learn and to make a change to do things better the next time. Your experience of both failure and successes will be your key to growing and accomplishing more in your life. Earlier, I mentioned feeling anxious or maybe even inadequate. And in my life, I have felt that more than once. I have determined that all of us have a dummy's voice within us. It takes a stretch of courage to push that voice aside and press onward towards our dreams and our goals. During a difficult time in my life, I was given a coffee cup. Um, this coffee cup had an inspirational quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. It said, Women are like tea. You don't know how strong they are until they are in hot water. I would contest this quote is for all people. When hardship comes, each of us finds a way to overcome it. As we are going through the experience, we find our flavor and pull from the resources we have from within ourselves. I have seen each of you find your flavor as you have made your way through the AP experience. When I have been at Dakota Valley Learning Center, I often walk past the study rooms where students were working together, having discussions, focusing on a topic, just plain expressing this to you. I saw you find the flavor to apply yourself. Some of you showed up with such determination in getting to school in the midst of great difficulty. You not only had a goal to achieve, but you had to do it all night through a pandemic. Suddenly, classes were held through Zoom. Paper textbooks became ebooks. All assignments were posted and handed in online. Still, you figured it out and attended school. You balanced the regular stresses of working at a job, sometimes late at night, sometimes all night. Yet, you attended school. Some of you had a court case pending, and you were worried about that outcome. Still, you came to school. I saw you exhibit the flavor of determination. <coughs> Some of you were responsible for family members, brothers, sisters, <coughs> grandparents, and children that you cared for. Some of you have sent whatever money you could gather back home to your homeland to support your family. Some of you have passed on your own needs or your own wants so your children could have a luxury item. I have seen some of you continue studying when you're tired, you've 
lost your, your will to move on, but you know this diploma is an opportunity for your parents to feel proud of you. I saw the flavor of responsibility and persistence. In class, I had a young man from Mexico discussing and sharing ideas respectfully with a Somali man or a Somali woman. I see a man from Belarus comforting a student from a Native American tribe as she talks about a hardship she's going through. And I've seen how American-born students helping to explain vocabulary or other concepts to immigrant students. This is the flavor of support and greatness. Some of you have shown honor to our school and shared a piece of your culture with us. Prior to COVID, our school would have potluck lunch celebrations. I never went hungry on those days. Students would cook up their special foods to share with our school. Each face was filled with pride and excitement to share our family tradition. Sharing food and time together has been an honored flavor for me. Another example is the high school students coming to class day after day. You made me think of J.K. Rowling's statement, we touch other people's lives simply by being. You added flavors to my life as I'd see you in the hallways, how you would talk with your friends, the styles you wore, the music you like, and the extreme skills you have for technology, the crew. So I think, I thank you graduates today for showing me the many different flavors of tea that we all possess in this world. As I left the yoga mat the other day, I heard some inspiring lyrics, and I would like to share them with you. It's from an Anita <coughs> Ari song called Just Do It. Or excuse me, Just Do You. I heard a voice that told me I'm essential, how my fears are limiting my potential, that it's time to step into the light and use every bit of power I have inside. Just do you, somebody's got to be your star. Just do you, somebody's got to raise the bar. Just do you, you've got a diploma to take you far. <laughs> Just do you today. What this song means is that you never have to do anything sensational or find your greatness. To find your greatness, it is within each of you. Embrace your flavor. Make a goal. See what happens. If you don't finish your goal, you may find a new interest along the way. Each of you have a way to shine from deep inside of yourself. It is this attribute that will serve you on your way. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you the very best, and I encourage you to embrace your flavors and just do you.
make it through and graduate, especially with a daughter. And I'm pretty proud of myself to be standing here today. But I wouldn't have been able to do it with the help of all my teachers. My ALC teachers were always making me feel like I can do anything I put my mind to. Mr. Thompson, he's been there with me since I was in like seventh grade and we've kept in touch ever since. He told me he'd drag my butt to school if I didn't graduate or go back. <laughs> and I'd also like to thank Chris for always giving inspirational messages, you know, giving you the things you needed sometimes. I'd like to thank Barb uh, Becker back there. She always took the time to sit down with me and work one-on-one. -on -one. You know, sometimes I felt like I was just not getting it. But she always made me see that I was doing very well, if not the best. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my family for always loving and supporting me and standing by my side. And I'd like to thank my little brother, Carter. I wouldn't be standing here today without you. And uh, Avery, I promise to always put my best foot forward and keep fighting for a, a, the best life for me and you to have. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you all for being here.
Um, <coughs> I don't have anything else to say. I'd like to thank Chris. Chris has always been there for me. Um, he met me before all this COVID stuff, uh, and he's the one always trying to push me as well. Uh, when I came back, he was always glad to take me back. I also like to thank Lori, who's watching at home. Hopefully, you get better too. Um, she also, I'm so happy that she, that she took me back. Um, honestly, this is this is a blessing for everybody. You guys should be proud of your guys yourself for all the hard work, the hard hours that you guys put in. So, thank you.
Joe Swanson. Kelly is a lover of photography and art, and from a small town with big city dreams. She loves animals, traveling, and Rick and Morty. Come on up, Kelly Joe. James has earned his GED diploma. 
James wants to give a special thanks to his mom, his teachers, and all the people that supported him through this journey. Whom now blame you in? <coughs> Who has earned her GED diploma? Favorite motto, study as much as you can, and always be patient in your studies. Advice for others, get more education so you can have a better salary, support your family, and have a good life in the future. Her future plans are to study at college and university. Special thanks to my family and my teachers at this school for supporting me to get to my goal. Nurse, 
Because the end of life should be as special as the beginning of life. Special thanks to my husband, mom, cousins, Mary and Seth, and best friends, Kim and Jen.
Special thanks to my best friend, Skyla, <coughs> for being my motivation and for pushing me constantly and telling me that I could do it. I want to thank my dad, Grandma Harris, and Aunt Bev for being there for me when I needed them most and believing in me. Great thanks goes to my husband, Dustin, for cheering me on. Let's give one more round of applause.